I told my husband I want to get my tubes removed after our next baby. He looked confused and then hurt, I thought damn he really does want more. But I was wrong. He hugged me and said I've done way more than enough for this family and he'd rather get the snip than have me go through any more. I just love him so much. Guy Lurker here, but I happen to be sitting less than 24 hours post vasectomy. Aside from wearing uncomfortably tight underwear this has barely registered as an inconvenience. Comparing this to the work and pain my wife put in with two pregnancies, gestational diabetes, a c-section, and so on, I mean, it's not even worth a comparison. Good on your husband, and I'm hoping we can normalize this more and more. My husband got snipped in November and his main reasoning was so that I could get off birth control and obvi we don't want more kids. My gynecologist was so surprised when I told her she literally asked me how I convinced him to do that. It makes me sad how few men seem to be willing to do even the smallest thing to help their wives in that regard. So happy you have this kind of support and recognition from your husband. It's great that your husband wants to take on the responsibility of birth control, but you should still consider the removal of your fallopian tubes if cancer runs in your family. I wish you best of luck and a safe delivery of your last child. My husband is planning on getting snipped, but I will still be having my tubes removed. It lowers the risk of cancer and honestly if I ever get raped I wouldn't have to worry about an unwanted pregnancy. In a child-free relationship and I told my boyfriend I want a bilateral salpingectomy to feel more comfortable. He immediately offered to get a vasectomy instead. Love him three foot. Congratulations on the decision, and the support of your partner if you are having your baby via section the procedural part of getting your tubes removed, is 95 done at this point. I was a surrogate in 2021, had the baby by section and they were able to remove my tubes before closing me up. The recovery was no different than the previous section that I had with my son. When I brought up getting myself sterilized years ago my now ex-husband also said he'd do it. Then he never did. Then he claimed he never agreed to anything. Make sure if yours is saying he's going to do he actually takes the steps to do it instead of gaslighting you to prevent you from doing it. My husband got a vasectomy last August. He was nervous but talked to some friends about their procedures. It went great 20 minutes in office and a couple days of mild soreness. Hope your husband has a good experience too. My husband got it done a few years ago. It's sad how many of my friends are jealous that he got it done on his own accord while their husbands won't. Getting my vasectomy in about three hours. Bring it on still a bit nervous. It's important to share the good stories with the bad so we have an accurate perception of the world. Good for him for doing the right thing, but honestly this should be the norm. Some men don't get that vasectomy is a way less invasive and risky process than anything the woman can do to get sterilized, but even if they don't I'm not sure how they justify putting the woman through that after watching them go through pregnancy. Men really need to take one for the team in that situation. It's not even a big deal either. You don't end up with a scar and everything works the same, you just have no sperm in the output. Was gonna have to have that talk with my husband soon, but I ended up needing a hysterectomy, so shrug. My wife and I have no kids, we don't want kids, we never wanted kids. I got snipped shortly after we got married and the doctors never once tried to convince me not to do it. I don't understand why more men don't do this. For as much as they complain about not wanting kids, child support, she's just trying to trap me. Blah blah they take matters in their own hands so they know there will be no accidents. I'm 41 without kids and want to get snipped. Last time I inquired about it I was told that they won't consider snipping someone who didn't have kids in case they changed their minds. I was 35 at the time and told them if I haven't wanted kids since I was a teen, I doubt I'm changing my mind. Good on you both for communicating. Seems to be a lost art these days. That's a partner right there. Putting your own ego aside to make the logical better choice for the unit. Need to plan my own snip. Love my kid but we are a one and done household kid who is three approves doesn't want to share mommy daddy time as it is. All the horror stories on this site and finally a real man appears. 
My husband is one of these types too good for you. I plan on marrying my girlfriend in the near future. I also plan on getting a vasectomy when we do. She has two kids from a previous relationship and doesn't want more. I'm perfectly happy with being a dad to her son her daughter is turning 21 this month and his turning 12, and taking the appropriate measures to make sure she doesn't get pregnant again. We planned to do both because I had to have scheduled C-section so seemed silly to not do it during that but he was going to get snipped too, because it's covered and why not have belt and suspenders, but my younger took my uterus with him on the way out so husband's bits are off the hook. It's definitely commendable that your husband will get a vasectomy. For what it's worth though, I got a tubal ligation because I wanted control. What if, God forbid, something terrible happened, like my partner died or the relationship didn't work out or I was sexually assaulted? I didn't want to abdicate my reproductive choice to anyone else. Now no matter what happens, I have the peace of mind of knowing I'll never be pregnant. They had us in the first half, not gonna lie. I thought it reduced the cancer risk in women. FYI if you happen to be having a cesarean, having your tubes tied only adds an extra 1-2 minutes to the delivery. For 100 certainty, you both should do it. If you are doing a vaginal delivery, then make sure to have an additional form of birth control for the first few months after his vasectomy. Or. If only all men were that sweet. Most men I've encountered think it's their God-given right to have women bear their children. Any hesitation and they're like, what? Honestly why not both? Much more secure in case one fails that's what hubby and I did. I was up and about and dandy within hours of my tubal. Wow what a gem he must be protected at all costs. I get so down and depressed in regards to men when reading this sub. These little posts are gold. Thanks for sharing. Make sure he does his follow up next month I've heard about a few snips that failed. That's awesome I don't understand how any man would want their wife to undergo an invasive procedure like that. It is why I also elected for the snip instead. It is so great when males take equal responsibility in birth control. Just my advice that you can absolutely disregard, if your doctor agrees to remove your tubes, do it. It is thought to greatly reduce or even eliminate your risk for ovarian cancer. Did it for my wife. Still not used to intercourse without a condom yet. Husband offered to get snipped so I wouldn't have to have surgery. I decided to get surgery anyway because assault is always a possibility as well as for my own peace of mind. We're both sterilized. That is so sexy. It's only logical. The risks and costs are so weighted towards vasectomy. I literally drove myself home and a single took a day off work. Tetanus shots give me more long term than my vasectomy. I don't mean to be a downer, but when my husband offered the same thing after Roe got overturned, I explained that him getting a vasectomy doesn't necessarily stop me from getting pregnant. Not that I would cheat, but I worry with so much violence against women and no exceptions for rape where I am. Still get your tubes removed though. It significantly decreases your chances of ovarian cancer and also your husband's vasectomy doesn't protect you from getting pregnant by people other than your husband. While that's wonderful of your husband, I think this should be a sort of default scenario, not something deserving of utmost praise and recognition. Of course the man should get an outpatient vasectomy procedure instead of the woman having an invasive surgery requiring general anesthesia. We have come a long way as a society in regards to gender roles and women's rights but for some reason we still praise men for doing the minimum for respect and equality in a relationship. Now confusingly, I want to have all his babies. JK. That's great. What a sweetie. I'm in a same-sex relationship, but I would definitely vote for whichever was the least risky invasive procedure which I would think would be vasectomy, but I'm not a doctor. I got my husband to agree to a vasectomy in the midst of my labor. I think he would have anyway, but at that point he couldn't refuse, 